said sweet. <laughs> That's a good one. Sweet nothings is a good one. <laughs> and you got it. And we are one thing we remember about Caitlin quite a bit is we talk about it quite often is when she was very young, um, you tried to help her do something like put her shoes on or something like that, and it was always me do, me do. She had this real independence, and I think that's what helped her as far as her, her life being so successful at this point is <clears throat> that independence. She wanted to do things herself, didn't want us to help her and it taught her at an early age to do things on her own and not depend on other people so that was a something I really and remember. I always say she doesn't want to take instructions from anyone not even a recipe you know she makes up her own recipes and but but Caitlin is very kind very thoughtful uh, she, she has your back she she will she will take care of anybody like twice in what the last month she stopped and helped old women up off the ground at, at a grocery store so sh she's very kind and caring just don't come into the emergency room with a a cuticle bothering you because she's not gonna yeah, <laughs> she, 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 yeah she's not gonna yeah but but she is very kind very caring and very supportive of her friends and and she loves Tyler to death <laughs> I think another thing just with them is going off to grad or going off to college, going off to Virginia Tech, where to be able to continue to have a strong relationship but still form other friendships outside their own relationship showed how healthy that their relationship was, you know, throughout and to be able then to go apart, you know, in graduate school and still maintain that closeness and that you know communication to keep their their love growing and I think I mean because when he did his cross-country you know bicycle trip and, and um, really didn't get to see her all you know two-thirds of the summer um, but they you know when they when they saw each other you could see that um, there was you know something special there and and they, you know, really cared for each other and all that. And that time apart didn't, didn't hurt them at all. Mm -mm. It just kind of strengthened them, I think. Yeah. Tyler, we have been a part of each other's lives since we were nine years old. That's 19 years of smiles, laughs, friendships, love, and so much more. You have been my longest friend and closest confidant throughout all of these years. We have been thro through so much together during this time. Graduating high school, going off to college, hokey football games, a few fraternity parties, Pokey House happy hour, late night at Tots, a few too many Benny's pizzas, me freaking out and saying I'm failing out of college when I would get an 85 on an exam, college graduation, PA and pharmacy school, becoming dog parents to Alvin, rescheduling a wedding twice during a global pandemic, planning a last minute wedding in less than three months, and buying our first home together. This past year has definitely not gone as planned for us, but all it has done is make us closer and stronger. Tyler, you have always been my biggest fan and always supported me through everything. I promise to always support you for the rest of our lives. I promise to watch every Hokey football game with you as long as I'm not working. I unfortunately can't promise the same about the Steelers. It's just not in my DNA to support them, but I will try. 
I do promise, though, to continue loving the Saints so that we can continue our fun New Orleans trips together, which will always include unlimited stops to Touche and Hobnobbers, and maybe a few purple drinks along the way. I promise to love you and Alvin unconditionally. I promise to be the best dog mom I can be to our precious Alvin. I also promise to continue cooking the best possible meals for you, but I do not promise the same for cleaning the house or doing the laundry. I promise to always offer my leftover food and scraps for you to eat. I promise to continue binge watching all of our favorite Netflix shows together. I promise to be your forever partner in crime and best friend. Tyler, I have loved you since I was 17 years old and promise to love you for the rest of our lives. As you have requested, I will end my vows by referencing the quote that reminds you the most of me, a quote from the infamous April Ludgate. I guess I kind of hate most things, but I never really seem to hate you. So I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Is that cool? Caitlin, first off, I love you, and you look amazing. I know this is not the wedding day you imagined at all, or even close to anything we planned, but I'm so happy to be up here with you today in front of family and our closest friends. It has been a long journey, and I know a little longer than you would have liked, but I appreciate your patience. It took a while for me to figure out what to say today. I didn't know where to start. I thought I would maybe start off with our story and how we got to where we are, but everyone already seems to know all that. Met at age nine, started dating in high school, went to Virginia Tech, grad school, and now we're here with some stuff in between. We've known each other for almost 20 years, been together for over 10 years, so I spent some time thinking about the last 10 years and why I love you. You make me a better person, and I wouldn't be where I am today without you. I truly mean that. I literally picked my major in college because you were doing it and I didn't know what else to do. You are so kind and caring. I went and updated these vows this week as just this past Tuesday, we were driving through Carytown and an old lady was laying flat on the ground and I pulled over so you could go help her up. You are such an amazing friend and will do anything for the people you love, and I know many people here can attest to that. And I'm serious, I bet most people here can recall a time that you went out of your way to do something nice for them. You're so strong. How you've handled all the difficulties in your life and your family's life over the last few years has been incredible. You are always there for the people you love, and I know you will always be there for me. I love you, Caitlin. You are my best friend, and today we get to join a marriage. I promise to always be your sous chef, your barista, and your grill master as long as you keep cooking for me. I promise to always root for the Saints if that means we get to go to New Orleans every year. I promise to keep your feet warm at night while watching Netflix before bed. I promise to all you put, always put you first. Alvin is a close second. I promise to always communicate and be honest with you. I promise to take care of you in whatever comes our way. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. These things I give you today and all the days of our lives. I know you would have a Parks and Rec quote, so I am ending with one of my own from the great Ben Wyatt. I am deeply, ridiculously in love with you, and above anything else, I just want to be with you forever.
hard to get I'm falling and rising Rolling the breeze As close above the rooftops As close above the spirit I'm falling and rising I'm falling and rising I'm falling and rising I'm falling and rising 